Yo. Guys, we are finished from uh, building our executive summary. Our dashboard is amazing. We have the stack bar, we have the KPI, we have slicers, we have map, we have every tools we need. And also we need, or we have to uh, build another tools. Now let's make like this. If we go to product detail here, and as you see, this dashboard. Let's build another one like this one. We have a trend line, we have forecast, we have cages, and so on. So now let's add an, a new one and let's name it same product uh, detail, but maybe the same name. So let's name it product details. Now it's fine. Now here, let's start by adding trend line. Trend line is very cool. Now let's choose this one, but first thing first, let's add our logo. Let's copy this and oops it yes. Yes, that's it. Now let's add our logo our uh, trend line. Again the same, it will be plain until I add data. So here for the trend line I need for example, the trend line for the profit or for the revenue. So let's take the profit, total profit, and make it here in the value. As we discussed that the any numerical values or numbers or columns, it will be in the values section. So here it doesn't make sense and it's not helpful since it's just a dot here. Again, I need to make it more uh, helpful for me to uh, visualize the data. So I need to uh, break this number down into uh, some data. Um, let's uh, choose I need a period, so start of week for example and make it in the legend. As you see this is a dots here and it's not helpful, it's annoying, and you can't read it anymore. So let's drag it to this, to the axis, and now it's helpful here. Let's drag it. And some conditional formatting. Uh, for the title, let's name it Weekly Profit. And again, if we stand here, we have the total profit. Let's add the revenue, total revenue. Let's add it here for the tool tip. So let's add the total revenue. And also let's add the orders. Here we go. Now, if you stand here, you see the total revenue and the total orders and also the total profit as this is the trend line. Now here we finish our uh, fields here and our conditional formatting and now you can also um, change the colors, make any additional formatting you need. Now the thing here I would like to mention here a great tool. This is the analytic analytics tool. Let's go to here and see what we have here. We have a trend line and let's add a new one. And as you see, this is a trend line. It's an upwarding, a trend line. Um, let's choose here the style for solid, dotted, I prefer dashed, and so on. Here we go. We have the trend line, and also we have the constant. As you see here, you can add this one. And mine line, for example, you can add this one. As you see, you can check all these options. It depends on you again. It depends on your needs. It depends on uh, uh, the needs of the management. It depends on the performance you measure. The thing here that I have a great thing that the forecast. But before I jump to the forecast, let's make a new one. Let's copy it here and. Actually, here I don't need the profit, the weekly profit. I need, let's go to here, and I don't need the total profit. 
I need the total return because the main concern is total return. That's it. Here, total profit. I don't need it. As you see, and again, I don't need the in, in analytics, and I don't need this one. Yeah, here we go. We have this is the, the same start of the week, and this is the total return. Again, we have the total revenue and total orders as a tooltip here. Now we have another type. I think that I add another one just to show you more uh, tools from the trend line. So here we have this one, the, the line chart. We have the area chart. So let's press this one and replace it for the area chart. And as you see, it's here. Uh, uh, it's filled with a color. Let's uh, change the color and make it. Um, let's make it red. Yes, sounds good. Now we are good. If you would like, also you can make it stacked area chart again. But here, it's the stacked area chart. It's benefit if you're comparing series. For example, if we hear total return and I need. Uh, Let's say, the, for example, the profit, total profit. And as you see, it's an overlap here and it doesn't make sense. So I don't need this one. If you would like to make this or this, it depends on you the same. And here, let's change the title. It's not weekly profit, it's a weekly return. Here we go, we have two trend line, one for the profit and one for return. The thing is, now let's jump to the forecast, a great tool now to forecast the future. Now, if you go to analytics here, and we have a tool here it's called forecast. As you see, let's add a new one. And we have forecast length, 10 points. This one, 10 points mean like 10 points it depends on the time from April to July or from January to April. For example, if you would like to change it, let's make it years and apply it. And now that's ridiculous because uh, now you are forecasting for 10 years and that doesn't make sense. As you see, it's not unreadable. Let's go back to the points and now it's fine. The thing is the okay, interesting thing here, let's make it apply. The interesting thing here is the confidence interval and this means that how are you confident about this forecasting so let's say as you don't have enough data or uh, you're not doing well or the market is uh, not stable so let's make the confidence interval 75 and let's see how that will change now the best of practice it will be 90 or 95 and that's it now we have the weekly profit, we have the weekly return. Uh, a great thing also, let's discuss it now. Let's add, for example, uh, what if you have, or what if you change the price? This is a sensitive analysis. What if you change the price? You need to see uh, how this will impact uh, your uh, data or your charts. Now let's take this, copy it. Sorry. Oops. Let's change it here. The thing here is that, that we have a price. We have adjusted the price. This one. And let's see here. The adjusted price, it means that it's the average retail price multiplied by the price adjustment. And that depends on your intervals or on your management uh, decisions. We have an adjustment to price. And if we adjust the price, so the revenue will be adjusted again. So adjusted revenue, it will be the sum X for the sales 
and order a quantity multiplied by the adjusted price. And again, if we adjust the revenue, so the profit will be adjusted. So the adjusted profit, it will be the adjusted revenue minus the total cost. And this is basic accounting or basic mathematics. Now here, let's add an adjusting price to here. We have the adjusting revenue, we have the total profit, and we have adjusted profits. Now let's drag it and drop it to here. Yes, and uh, I don't need the forecast. Yes, we have the total profit and we have adjusted the profit. Now let's format it and let's give the second another color. Um, let's make it actually, let's make a slicer, for example. And for the slicer, as we remember here, we have one field. So let's take the adjusted price. And again, let's take the adjusted price here. Oops. Okay, guys, we're back. Now, uh, there was a problem in the computer that I just fixed it. So we have a price. I made a slicer here, and I dropped the price adjustment here. Now, here, we have a price adjustment. Let's change this one, and let's see what will happen. As you see here, the total profit, it different from differentiate from adjusted profit as you see here let's change the price plus 30 percent 30 percent now the total the to adjusted profit will be higher uh, let's make it less than 70 percent so the adjusted profit will be less than that let's create a room for it that's it And let's make like this. And this is the slicer and a lot of tools we have made. Now let's clean this one. And we have all this. The, again, let's recap it. We have the executive summary here. We made a stack bar. Oops. It took time. Yes, uh, we made total orders. We made a stack bar, and also we made KPI. We made cards, and we know that a trick. And also we have this slicer. We have the map. We have the slicer again here. How you select this one or Europe, Pacific, and so on. And in the product details. Also we have the trend line, as we saw the trend line for the weekly profit and the adjusted profit. And the sensitive a sensitive analysis by the price adjustment percentage for the price adjustment for 30% how the adjusted profit will be moved and also we have the weekly return we have this the trend line we have this forecast hope you guys you enjoy this one and a lot and this one I just want to mention that these tables are working together like I mean when you uh, make this and and change the prices or and change the trend line that's because all the tables you see this is the tables we have one again one two three four five six seven eight nine we have nine tables we have nine excel files are connected together and that's connection it's not our main concern here because it's connected together that uh, it's working probably when you move any parameter the next one the uh, other one is moving as you see here if we go if we uh, went here you see all these links are together as you see here all the tables are connected together and that means any and that means any uh, changing in any parameter will change properly in another one uh, 
if you would like to know about uh, how we connect this data about the DAX, about how we shape clean the data, you can check the course on Udemy full course. And uh, it's a hit course, high, highest rated. And highest rated, you can check this out on Udemy. Uh, I will drop the link down below in the box. Uh, you can check it and uh, ask me whatever you want. See you guys in the next uh, next lectures. Thank you all.